Now, looking at uh, the Aussie dollar, we have potentially a very, very bullish medium term setup occurring in the Aussie dollar uh, right at this minute. Now, after bottoming in January of, um, of last year, we've had a little five wave structure up for what appears to be wave one and a very large ABC flat structure here for wave two, uh, which took around about 35 weeks to complete. Now, um, commencing what appears to be the fastest part of the move and now we're going to zoom into this little five wave structure and uh, we can clearly see a five wave structure there's wave one two three abc for four five uh, up towards that uh, well closer to that 77 cent region so ideally now what we want to see is a pullback for wave two uh, closer to that uh, 0.38 to 0.618 region so in other words what we want to see with the Aussie dollar is to, for the Aussie dollar to pull back below 75 cents and ideally closer to 74 cents to complete wave two before it then explodes to the upside. And switching back to the weekly chart, we can see we've got an upside target as an absolute minimum of 88 cents for wave three and possibly higher levels to follow thereafter. So potentially a very, very bullish picture. Uh, for the Aussie dollar, but after we've had a, uh, a two or a three cent pullback first. Uh, pretty much the same can be said for BHP. It's uh, completed our first initial upside target. I was, we were targeting closer to the $28 region, it got up to $27.95, and now we're looking for a larger B wave decline. This wave structure is fairly, fairly messy. Um, very very complex overlapping and uh, we can only label it as wave A and we can expect now something deeper to unfold over the next few weeks for wave B which could potentially bring prices back several dollars towards the $22 region. Uh, thereafter we should see a strong rally unfold towards the mid to high 30s for wave C. And pretty much the same for Rio Tinto. It appears to have completed a third wave at the end of January. And um, we can now expect a larger pullback for wave four, ideally towards the $56 region before the uptrend resumes. Now this pullback should consume a few weeks and ideally will coincide with an Aussie dollar low that we're looking for for wave two. Um, and um, once these, uh, once BHP and Rio uh, complete these declines and ideally the Aussie dollar reaches that 74 cent region then we can expect a very strong rally towards the middle of the year.